Okay, so the first thing I did when I got in here today is I got a hot plate out, got a, a 250 milliliter beaker and got a stirring bar in there, and I put a little over 100 milliliters of water in here, and I just got it up to a boil as quick as possible. Now, while I was getting, at, right after I put it on the hot plate, turned on the hot plate, I went and measured out the five grams of starch. And I did set this on the highest setting, and I just started really boiling. I'm gonna turn it off of heat now, uh, I am going to watch this, but right now I'm putting the starch in. And it's alright, I didn't get it all. Um, now, that's still going, I'm going to rinse this off. It is just a wash glass. Um, don't worry about getting starch on you, it's not that big of a deal. Do watch that, because um, like macaroni and cheese, noodles, it might actually foam up. And this one's going to, probably. But the starch technically dissolves relatively fast if that happens. If it does um, um, boil over and foam up, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Just make sure once everything's cool, clean off the top of the um, hot plate. Now I have the heat totally off, the stir is still going. Um, before I do anything with this, I want that to cool back to room temperature. So once it's stopped boiling, once it's gotten cool enough I can touch it, I'll probably even put it in an ice bath to speed up, speed up the process. Now, depending on how my schedule was before lab, I might have actually made this solution up for everybody. Because by doing that ahead of time, it really speeds up our whole process. Uh, it is just a problem that if we actually use this while it's still too hot later on, um, our results are very flawed. And we actually have a chance that some danger, more dangerous chemicals get released. Nothing that's terribly scary, but more irritating. All right. I'm stopping the video why that gets back to normal.